Ladies, listen up. Put down your 50 Shades of Grey because today we have Ken Looker from Standard Paint and Wallpaper talking about 50 Shades of White. Ken, when we talk about the color white, what's a common mistake that we're doing? Am I just coming in here and saying I need a can of white paint? I'm assuming there's just one color of white. Well, the problem actually exists with whites. When you come in and say white, you're looking at probably a thousand different colors. And what can often happen is people come in and they just say, I just want white. Yeah. And the problem is when you're dealing with white, it's actually not a color that naturally occurs. A designer once said, give me an example outside of snow where white occurs in nature. So it actually doesn't blend well with most colors. It's actually very much in stark contrast to the natural colors you see in the world. Oh, so we have different shades. Like you're saying, there's different shades of white. But how do I know which white that I need for the other shades in my room, the other colors? What you're going to want to do is use something that's going to be complementary to the colors you already have in the room and something that's going to match up with the feel you're trying to create in the room. For example, if you like cool colors, what you want to do is go for something that's a cool white that has shades of gray or black added to it, just to tone it down so it's more complementary to what you have. If you like warmer colors, say for instance things like Santa Fe colors or warmer rust colors, what you want to do is use something that's a warmer color so you can match up your trim and your ceilings to make it a warmer color. Another example that occurs is someone will go out and say, I'm doing my kitchen or I'm doing my bathroom and I just want white. Mm -hmm. I got white cabinets, maybe I have a white countertop or white appliances. Well, the problem is that there's so many different shades of white, they probably won't match unless you make an effort to do it. Oh, and I guess if it's already white, I mean, throughout the environment in that room, it could have changed the color a little bit, right? So you, like you said, you can't match it up. What you need to do is be able to match up, say, the appliance or the countertop or the cabinets. Whatever it is the white you're doing, you have to make an effort to match it. Okay. Because what you call white and what the manufacturer of the cabinets calls white and what the manufacturer of the paint color calls white aren't necessarily the same thing. So when you do that, you have to actually take the time to get some samples, get some chips out there, and be able to match up the whites that are in your room. Okay, now we talked about trim and matching the trim to complement our other color on the wall. But what are some other ideas besides white? What I absolutely love right now is the trend with a lot of people going to hardwood flooring is people are doing dark, rich brown tones that are complementary to the hardwood. My view on it is hardwood is a major underlay both in time, money, and installation. Why not do something to accent it? You put white beside it, it does nothing to help it. But mm -hmm. if you get a dark, rich, dark walnut type floor, find something that's a dark, rich color to go with it. So your eye's drawn to that color and it'll highlight the value and the importance of that nice hardwood you put in. Great. Well, it's some fantastic advice that you gave us about the color white. Now that we know that there's more than just one shade, where can somebody go to come and get more information if they would like to discuss this further? They can visit us online at standardpaint.ca. They can follow us on Facebook or Twitter, or they can visit us in store at 2279 Fairview Street in Burlington. Thank you very much, Ken. Thanks, Tracy Lynn.